Hey guys, this is Dr. Asmat Fatima and I'm back again with another video regarding the standardization of endodontic instruments. So in earlier times, if we talk about the hand instruments, endodontic hand instruments, there was no definite specifications regarding the diameter of the file, its taper or the length of the cutting blades. Therefore, Engel and Levine, what they suggested is, they suggested the definite increment in the diameter as the size progressed. Now, what does it mean? That if you are moving from number 10K file to number 15 or number 20, there was a definite increase in the diameter of these files. But regardless of the size of the file, the taper, it was constant. So, Engel and Levine, they have suggested some standardization of the endodontic hand instruments and what they stated is that instruments, they should be numbered from 10 to 100. Okay, earlier Engel and Levine, they told that the instrument should be numbered from num 10 to 100. But later on, it has been revised to include numbers from 6 to 140. Okay, so now today, the endodontic hand instruments, they are numbered from 6 to 140. Another thing is that they said that numbers should advance by 5 units to size 60 and then by 10 units to size 100. Now what does this statement mean? Suppose if you are moving from number 10k file okay, to number 15, then number 20, 25, 30, so you are seeing that these files the number they are advancing by five units till number 60 you can see in this thing like number 10 15 20 25 30 35 so the numbers they are advancing by five units till 60 number file okay after 60 it will be advancing by 10 units see 60 then there is 70 then there is 80 90 100 so the number they are increasing by 10 units okay so this is very easy if you are starting from number 10 leave number 6 and 8 okay so if you are starting from number 10 it is advancing by 5 units till number 60 k file and after that if you are advancing then it will advance by number 10 so 60 70 80 90 right now next thing is they said that each number shall be the representative of the diameter of the instrument in hundreds of a millimeter at the tip this is very important so what does this means that if you, suppose if you take number 10 file okay so this number this number 10 it will denote the diameter of the instrument at the tip but in hundreds of a millimeter suppose number 10 file is there so 10 divided by 100 it will be 0 0.10 at the tip so this is the tip diameter of the file suppose you take number 15 file so the tip diameter will be 15 divided by 100 so it will be 0 0.15 okay likewise 20 is 20 divided by 100 so it will be 0 0.20 so this number it will the number by which you are calling the file it will denote the diameter at the tip so it's very easy okay 20 will denote 0 0.20 is the tip diameter for 25 0.25 will be the tip diameter for 30 it will be 0 0.30 right next thing is working blade now what is working blade the working part of the file it is also known as flutes so this part of the file from this point to this point this is the working blade or you can call it as flutes so it will they said that it should begin at the tip okay it should begin at the tip which they designated as d0 and it should extend up to 16 mm and that terminating end is known as d16 now earlier in earlier files it was uh, the tip diameter it was denoted by d1 and till 16 mm that is the end part it was denoted by d2 but now it has been changed and revised and now the tip diameter is called as d0 and the 16 mm working blade till the 16th mm it is known as d16 so d0 at the tip then 1 mm from the tip it will be d1 2 mm from the tip it will be d2 3 mm from the tip it will be d3 and so on till d16 right so you can see here it this tip is the d0 and this part 
where the working blade ends is known as D16. So the length is 16 mm. Okay, this file is of 25 mm length. Okay, so the next statement was that there is a constant increase in taper of 0 0.02 mm per millimeter for every instrument regardless of the size. So what does this mean? So taper is a constant increase in the diameter per millimeter of the instrument. Okay, so 2% taper means that the diameter it will increase by 0 0.02 mm every mm. So if it is a 30 number file, so the tip diameter will be 0 0.30. Now at D1, the taper, if it is 2% taper, then the diameter will be 0.32, then at D2 it will be 0.34, at D3 it will be 0.36 and similarly it will go up to D16. So the diameter of D16, it will be 0.32 mm greater than that of D0. You have to remember this thing that at D16, the formula is at D16, the diameter if you want to calculate it will be equal to d0 plus 0.32 remember this simple thing okay so if example is there if you are taking a number 20 reamer so the d0 you know it will be 0.20 plus 0.32 so it will be 0.52 at d16 now next you will understand it better in this slide suppose leave pink and gray number six and number eight okay now see number 10 okay so number 10 the tip diameter it will be equal to 10 divided by 100 so it will be equal to 0 0.10 and at d16 the diameter will be equal to d0 plus 0.32 so it will be 0 0.10 plus 0 0.32 which will be equal to 0 0.42 okay so this is the simple formula if you want to calculate the diameter at d16 okay so if there is a constant taper of 2%, this is just for endodontic hand instruments which have a constant taper of 2%. Okay, so this formula will be applicable here only. Now, other specifications have been added. So, the next specification is that the tip angle of an instrument it should be 75 plus minus 15 degree. Now, this is the angle of the hand instruments this point is the angle of the hand instruments and it should be 75 or plus minus 15 degrees next thing is that instrument sizes it should increase by 0 0.05 mm at d0 between number 10 and 60 what does it mean suppose you are moving from 10 15 20 25 you see that the tip diameter will be equal to 0 0.1 0 0.15 0 0.2 and 0.25 so there is a constant increase by 0.5 mm Anna? from if you are moving from number 10 to number 15 you see there is a constant increase of 0.05 mm from 15 if you are moving to 20 there is a constant increase of 0.05 mm and the number they should increase by 0.1 mm uh, from number 60 to 140 that is if you're moving from 60 70 80 90 you see that the tip diameter it is 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 so there is a difference of 0.1 mm right now another specification was that the instrument handles they have been color coded for easier recognition now what is the color coding these three files they are Alexe, okay pink gray purple that is 6 8 10 pgp remember this pink gray purple it is number 6 number 8 number 10 now from white onwards you can uh, remember this mnemonic that is why yelling red someone is asking red why are you yelling so red is answering that because green blacked out so why w stands for white number 15 then yellow number 20 then red number 25 then because may b stands for blue number 30 then green 35 black is there so black is 40 so this is very easy pgp you remember separately pgp pink gray purple there will be some confusion between pink and purple because both are p so remember six eight these files are alexe 
okay pink gray purple six eight ten six eight ten then from white it is y yelling red because green blacked out white yellow red blue green black 15 20 25 30 35 40 i told you the numbers they will advance from 10 if you're starting the numbers they will advance by five units still 60 and after 60 you see after 60 it is 70 80 they are advancing by 10 units now again from 40 till 40 it is still black now again if you're starting from 45 it will again start from white same uh, color coding will be there for same will be for 45 50 55 60 70 and 80 you see 45 is white then again red sorry again yellow then red blue green black white yellow red blue green black so that's it for today's video so if you like my content please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share it among your friends bye bye thank you